We are uh, changing things up a little bit. We were doing interviews, but for the purposes of Eric, we're going to have a little interrogation in the interrogation room at NCIS LA. I are couldn't you, be more excited. Are you excited? I am excited. Who do you think is going to end up interrogating who? Because you're very good at it on the show. I feel like it's definitely going to be you interrogating me. This is my first time. So is I want it? you to be gentle. Okay, I'm going to be gentle. Is your name Eric Christian Olsen? It is. Well, that's not even my real name. Is, well, but course, there was already have... an Eric Olsen, and he did some weird stuff in New York, so I had to add that you had on to add... IMDb. Okay, so did you make that name up? No. Or is that a middle name? It's a middle name. Okay. We are continuing with the interrogation with Miguel Ferrer. Very great to see you. Now, I have to ask you. Yes. You have to be honest. Okay. I was going to ask Eric this, but how bad is this light? I caught a glimpse before, a little frame, and I'm like, wow, this is intense. This isn't, and it feels intense, but you're used to shooting like this. This is every day at the office for you. <laughs> yeah. Do you play Deeks on the show? I do. Okay. I play Deeks on the show. You, you tend to, like I've, I've heard, I don't, I don't know who told me this, but you ride around the Paramount lawn on a bike. Um, I do. With a license plate named Sharon, which makes me think you stole the bike. Did you steal the bike? No. Okay. No, I didn't, I didn't steal the bike. That's actually my bike. And I, what I do is to throw people off, I put um, very feminine rhinestones on the front of it, and okay. then I put a license plate that says Sharon. Are you lying to me right now? No. All right. That's how I protect you my assets. You know anybody named Sharon that had a bike? Okay. Just checking. Okay, so you've been shipped on the show. You have Yeah, little, I just learned what that means. You just learned what shipped means? Yeah. Um, Denzi? Yeah. Okay, so we have a Twitter question from one of your fans. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Um, MusicLove18 wants to know if you watch any of the Denzi videos that fans make of you. I think that anytime someone spends that much time and effort into making something, if someone sends me a link to it, I definitely watch it. And I think right. it's really impressive. There's some people that have really good edits and have cut together stuff that obviously doesn't exist and made their own kind of own storylines, and it's pretty impressive. You were talking when you walked in. You're just, you just came from a very intense scene into an interview. Is that, at this stage, is it easy for you to just go in well, it's always easy. It's, you know, I mean, let's be honest. We're pre pretending, you yeah, know. but it's so much. I, I, I can't do it. It's not, it's not as hard as it looks. <laughs> so you're debunking the whole myth of how tough it is. Well, I just think, listen, you know what? If somebody does a good job, I don't care how they do it. And some people yeah. like to put themselves through all kinds of torture and pretend <laughs> things and stuff like yeah. that. And that's fine. You know, it's like the old... Lawrence Olivier line, you know, you should try acting, it's so much easier. Yeah. Who did he say that to again? Dustin, Dustin Hoffman. Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. Still one of the best lines I've ever heard so, in yeah, Hollywood. You know, and yeah. I've been asking everybody today, your ultimate crossover. If you could have a, the show crossover because you did the Hawaii Five-O, what crossover would you love to see? <laughs> um, could be a film. I'd say Breaking Bad. I'd like to see G. Callen Hooked on math. <laughs> what was it like not having Daniela film with you and having other partners? Um, it's definitely a transition. That's yeah. a good question. Uh, because so many of my scenes, especially banter scenes, are with Danny. Um, and so they would just take that dialogue and like give it to Renee or take that dialogue and, and, and give it to you know, Granger. Um, but one of my favorite scenes so far has been an episode that they paired me up with um, Elo Cool J. And I go undercover as Sven. He's a German, uh, he's a German uh, interior designer, um, which was hilarious. And Can we hear a little of that? No, I think you have to save it. Tuesday night's 9 o'clock. You tend to, Danielle's character on the show, you guys have a great banter and a great back and forth yeah. and you for a hard time. It extends to Twitter and yeah. real life. Yeah, yeah. 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 Does she, does she, is she good at throwing it back? Or? No, no, she's not great. <laughs> it's like playing tennis by yourself, okay. really. Playing Against banter, the wall. banter games. Well, you don't have a wall. It's just me hitting it and then just watching it go over. You're going to hit that? That's okay. I'll just keep serving to myself. So you tweet her and she doesn't respond? No, she just doesn't bring the A game. You know okay. what I mean? But she's getting better, I think. I think she's slowly <laughs> getting better. I was deeply disappointed for like the first year and a half. I'm sure you've heard the story the first time we ever met. She came up and she goes, I heard that Deeks was supposed to be tanned and muscly. Yes. Uh, what are you doing about that? And I said, I heard you were supposed to be good looking. What are you doing about that? And she was like, <laughs> And she turned around and walked away. So that has continued for about a year and a half. But she's getting better. She's getting funnier and wittier. And, and, uh, and she's slowly stepping up her game. What is something about you that people would never guess? I think people have an image of me that I'm just kind of really tough and kind of nasty. And I'm really not. Well, you told me I look good in this light. So there, you're, you're already very no, kind. No, I'm just, I, you know, I... I <laughs> Cry at movies and you, you know, do. get yeah, and 
miss my dogs way too much. And what has been your most fun role playing episode? I think Sven. Yeah. Yeah, Sven's gonna be fun because they let me go huge. I kept being like, I feel like we're going too big with this, and they're like, Nope. Keep going. And they just kept pushing, and so we'll see. And I've done so many, you know, broad comedies in film prior to this right. that that uh, I was like, if it, well, but it's as long as it's grounded in what the mission is, yeah. as simplistic as it says and ridiculous as it is to say this, but it's, as long as it's grounded in the mission and to figure out what it is that we need in that moment, you can go as big as you want. And so I think that we may have found the limit to that in this. What has been the most, um, you know, stunt-wise and sort of jumping around? Who gets the most banged up? Who tends to be the clumsiest and get the most banged up? I mean, everybody gets banged up. Yeah. I mean, the show's like a James Bond movie we right. shoot in eight days, so everyone gets banged up, but I have a pretty awesome stunt double who does a lot of the big stuff for me, and he... He might be your brother? He might be my brother. He, might. he is my brother. He is. If this is an interrogation, yeah. let's just be honest. He's my brother, and he's done some of the big stunts, like the fireball thing, and we went surfing Costa Rica for a week after that, and he was, like, burned where oh his shirt gosh. came up because he had fire gel all over him. So he gets banged up a little bit. This was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Pleasure was mine. I've enjoyed the interrogation. It was my my pleasure. You did a great job. Thank you. Did you lie during any of it? I don't think I lied during any of it. Lying gets you nowhere. It's just easier to tell the truth and let the consequences fall where they may.